guys, Bots and Blasters here. Let's hit up a Goodwill. We haven't done thrifting for a while. Step inside right away. I found a Modulus. I think this was the ECS-10. It was in really decent shape. One side was yellow, one side wasn't. It was kind of weird, but I couldn't find a price on it anywhere. Over here, I found a Reflex 6 for $2.99. And another Reflex 6 for $2.99. With which somebody had to put their own string on it. And over here, another Reflex 6. Also for $2.99, they can stay together, they're friends. Over here, found a Tech 6, cool. I don't need another one, but cool. Over here, another Tech 6. This one was missing one of the stickers, so it was not the same one. And here I found a really clean retaliator, but it was missing the back stock for $3.99 in two locations. So, uh, yeah, I'll take that. Here I found a one of these laser tag things from Tiger Electronics. This is the smaller version. I don't remember what it's called, but I'm very nostalgic for these for some reason. I have a faint memory of using these at a birthday party. Here I found an equalizer with no price, but this is a decent blaster. It comes in a two-pack for ten bucks. Still in Walmarts now. And that strong heart bow is still here. Here I found a hydrogen rocket. It looked foam tipped for a minute, so I was considering getting it. But I was like, no, this probably wouldn't be safe for Nerf War. Over here, moving some tanks aside, found a two pack. If I can get them out, they're kind of stuck. Was a Praxis and a Steady Stream 2 from Busby. Speaking of Busby, went over here, found a Tactical Storm. Nice to see, 99 cents or 2.99. You tell me. Over here, I did see a rarity. This is an Alien Menace Nerf targeting system. I've never seen this before, and I'm very familiar with the Alien Menace line, so I went ahead and picked this up. Over here, I found a Modulus stock, but underneath that, a really clean, really minty targeting set. I don't need another one. Can I pick up the Alien Menace one? And over here I found a Blitzfire for $2.99. That is not a bad deal. Blitzfire is really good, really reliable, but I would have liked this one to be a little bit cleaner. Over here I found a Dual Strike, cool to use, also fun to single down, really effective back in the day. Over here I found a Lumatron. Ooh, I was real tempted to get this, but it was a little more scuffed and there was no real price on it, so had to leave it behind. Sad. Over here I can zoom out bows and random knickknacks that are not what I'm interested in except maybe this Ninja Turtles wannabe mega shooter I remember these looking around a minions mega tank shoot I remember this thing oh my god this is goofy four shot you can also use it as a blaster funny to use over here this weird Star Wars laser tag set I was tempted to get it because it was vintage Let's head on to our next location, another Goodwill. Let's head inside and see what we can see. Right away, a claw. Cool. Not bad, 199. I do not like the handles on these though. And here's a double fire. Hey, I just finished gutting one of these. And this one also seems to have the same problem. So I left that behind. Right next to it, a double breach. Not a bad Mega Blaster, not really all that impressive. Not a bad price, I might have to get this one. Over here, a bug attack uh, it's one of the X shot shotguns I don't remember the exact name and this one was not working trigger was broken that's why we test triggers over here behind it another one also for 199 this one did work but I left it behind in favor of another shotgun but I did find this goofy blaster I was like oh my god I want this I want it so bad but they wouldn't sell it to me because of the price another claw this is not the same one this one is different Tags on the other side, and then a hot shock. Oh my goodness, I haven't seen one of these in a hot minute. So I went ahead and got this one. Let's head into our next location, Texas Thrift. Stepping right inside right away. Shell's looking kind of barren, but uh, got an X shot reflex six here. That's cool. Don't need any more though. I just passed up three of them earlier. Then over here, another X shot reflex six. Now you guys know why I pass them so often. Like if they're 99 cents, I will buy them to gut them. Here a Powerball. This one actually with the hopper. I was tempted, but uh, I really don't need it, sadly. A uh, Trigger Fire. This is a terrible blaster. Never buy this blaster. It's not comfortable, at least not for me. 
over here, found a whole mess of X-Shot Chaoses. This one is the, uh, I think the respawn variation, respawn version. It didn't have the guide to hold the balls in, so I ended up leaving this one behind. Uh, but the, uh, I think this is the 2019 version, if I'm remembering correctly, feel free to correct me. This one did have it, but I didn't need any more. So left it behind, also double priced there. And then here is a Delta Trooper. I love the Delta Trooper, but I like the Retaliator a little bit more. Was in good shape, but I'm not looking for any at the moment. Down here, a Dart Zone Magna. Man, this takes me back. One of the first early, air quotes, pro-level blaster. Right next to that, the Roblox Adopt Me Bees um, pistol, shotgun, revolver thing. Pretty goofy blaster, left it behind. And then a six-shot bug attack x shot everything is called the rapid fire is basically a reflex six i ended up getting this one for the collection and a short distance from that a cyclone shock cool i don't need any more and this one's all faded so uh left that behind over here on top of course a battle blazer i do not like these blasters <laughs> down here i was like oh my goodness did i just find a holy grail item no but it was a decent find a modulus set Complete inbox, yes please. And then a Chewbacca bowcaster, Star Wars Nerf bow. And let's check the bag areas. That's not Halloween attacked. And look around for anything of possible value, like these odds and ends and one Alpha Strike Jolt. No, that can stay here. And over here, nope, 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 just Mario. But down here, hello. Oh no, it's just a Laser X Laser Blaster. Nope. I mean, that was interesting, but not what I was looking for. And then down here, saw some orange. Went to go check it. Down here, a bag of ammo. I saw a old school micro dart and a whole bunch of rival ammo. One more good one before we call it a day. Or a night, rather. Stepping inside. Right away, a old school Koosh. Little Tykes. <laughs> blaster. Not what I'm looking for. Let's keep on looking. Here, this uh, Black Widow Blaster I've seen here before in my local Goodwill. And this really old Modulus ECS-10. You can always get these and repaint them. Somebody pointed that out to me, and that's very true. But I don't need it for that purpose. And one of this old school X-Shot when they were getting to the zombie line. Blaster, a really bad painted up barricade. <laughs> oh my goodness, some kid had a fun with this. DGK for life, apparently. And here a stock A, but it was missing the battery tray, so I'll leave that there. Hey, a power bolt, the opposite of the power ball. A clash combat. Down here, another cyclone shock, my second one of the day. A snap fire and a praxis with a mag. I might end up getting this. And over here, a drum of some Onun origin and shape. And the stock to an X-Shot Ninja Blaster. And this, a, another Laser Tag Tiger Blaster. This one I've seen around a lot. I decided to give it a home. But it's not nerf related. So on to the review. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this quickly because I think there is a storm rolling in. Okay, so what did I end up getting? Well, I got a whole bag of stuff here behind us off camera. I got my dart catcher set up here right next to us. And I had some people asking as far as what it was. So, and I got one of these auto expanding, I believe they're for like Frisbee or something. I don't know. I don't play it. But what I do like is it comes with pegs so I can set it up for war and it's a uh, cover for somebody who need, is small enough and needs cover. But it also works great for catching darts. The bag has all been confuddled about. <laughs> First thrift, I believe, for $3.99, $3.99. Really clean retaliator. Uh, missing the back piece, but I mean, that's easy to fix because it doesn't impact the functionality of it. I'm gonna load up some darts, fire it off, make sure it works. Got just four loaded into the clip. Nice. This has a lot of pop to it. I might have to open it up. It might be modded internally. It sounds like it. Like it has a lot of pop. I wouldn't be surprised. But $3.99 in two places. On a side note, don't you hate when you buy something from a thrift store like Goodwill and it has a price tag from a garage sale. And for whatever reason, 
The Goodwill is charging more than the price tag sale. Luckily this wasn't the case, but I hate when that happens. <laughs> Alright, next up, I went ahead and I got the Double Breach. Has a bit of shell damage here for the grip, but it's not a big deal considering the mod that I had in mind for it. Only $1.99. Mainly I wanted this part here, I didn't want to rip it off my stock Double Breach. Uh, aside from that, it's pretty good shape, but I'm still going to test it, make sure it works, because, uh, yeah, that's what I bought it for. To test, some little Valentine Mega Darts, because those seem to be the only time I can find. A lot of people hate on this blaster, but I actually really enjoy it for the emotional feel of plinking with it. Oh, that one bounced out. That one also bounced out. Okay, so internals are good, which means after I do whatever, the spring gets still worth saving. Alright, next on the chopping block, another than good old fashioned Vortex Praxis. And this was really clean, really minty, and it was hard for me to say no, especially because I just got a bunch of Vortex in. So let's load some up, let's see how we do. Got just four discs loaded in, don't want to go nuts, but slide it in, see it forward. Oh boy, I haven't fired a Vortex Blaster in a long time. Woo! Oh man, that brings me back. That brings me back to early days of HVZ when Vortex Blasters broke all the rules and broke so many hearts. All right, next up, I got it for the sheer rarity of it, and it is the Alien Menace uh, targeting set. And the only thing that's Alien Menace about it is up here, and the fact that these uh, gray parts are switched with the orange parts. This is gonna be a trophy piece. However, there does seem to be some, um, it looks like heat warping. Like this isn't like grime or anything, it's real smooth, like it was next to a heater or something, but front wise, it still looks real nice, and I've never actually seen this Alien Menace product. I'm very familiar with that line. So real excited to get this. Next up for the Mega Line, I went ahead and I picked up a Hot Shot. Hot Shock, excuse me. <laughs> I haven't seen one of these for a while, but I remember back in the old days, these were real cool to barrel out single them down to fire elites, or in this case nowadays, probably gonna fire them half lengths. But it's still gonna test, make sure everything works. Um, 199 is not a bad price. This is a pretty beefy spring. Omega and beyond. Super fires. Yeah! Yeah! Next, I went ahead and picked up from the X-Shot line. This is the X-Shot Rapid Fire version of the Reflex 6. So it has the six barrels. And I was talking to Not Enough Nerf a few months back about collecting all the variants of the Reflex 6. So I think that's something that I might want to pursue. I enjoy collecting them almost just as much as I enjoyed collecting the Mavericks. So I'm gonna go ahead and load it up with darts. Let's see what it can do. Got it all loaded up with six, just random darts from the bin. Let's see, does this still have it? Oh yes. That one bounced out at me. And one more. Wonderful. Man, say what you will, for 198, these blasters hold up fantastically. Really happy I got that. All right guys, next up, something nerf in the box, although the box is a little worse for wear, I will admit that. It sounds like there's something loose inside. But, you'll see what it is. A nerf in strike modulus. Stealth Ops Upgrade Kit. Now, I'm torn because this is in its package and it's been taped all to hell, so even if I do open it, it will compromise the box. But the box isn't terrible. So I'll leave this up to you guys. Do you guys think I should open this or not? I'm tempted to leave it here because I have all these accessories already with the exception of the red dot site. Until then guys, I'm Bots and Blasters. Thank you for all the support, 500 subs, it feels like we just flew past that. I really appreciate everyone's love and support. I have a coffee link down below, if you want me to keep making more thrifting videos, keep buying me coffee. Aside from that, we do have a Discord, Foam After Dark, everyone's welcome to uh, jump in there, hang out, talk foam. We try to do pretty much nightly talks about foam if we can. So once again, I'm Bots and Blasters, I'll see you guys next time on the battlefield. And let me know, would you guys open this or not?
So real excited to get this. But let's see if it fires. Uh, 